Hi, I'm Brenda Jean Power. I'm a medicine woman and I do medicine woman solution. Some of you may have noticed I have a different backdrop. Yes, a different backdrop indeed. Now I have to adjust a few camera things. Not too bad, not too bad. I kept thinking to myself, I wanted to do a different format. I wanted to be able to do this differently. Now, hopefully Amy, hello Amy. Hello, Brenda. Well, like, go on to my regular fan page and say, hey, Brenda's doing a show. Here's a link. And then maybe somebody might want to pop on or put it in our groups because I did not do that. This is a spontaneous, um, a spontaneous, uh, what do you call it, show. Spirit said, get on. And so what's well, one of those rush jobs again? What do I have that looks decent? So I just threw stuff on, trusted that. Spirit's going to dress me halfway decent. <laughs> what do we want to talk about? There are a lot of things that Spirit has to talk about. Every day I'm healing. Every day I'm taking and dropping my mind into asking the question in the recesses of my mind to look for answers, but not with ego to get the answers. It'll be through the lens of ego, but not ego itself. So... Spirit keeps telling me, don't worry, everything's going to be great by uh, January 1st. I'm like, um, that's only a few days away. And you want me to do what? You want me to have a website ready? Needless to say, it's, it's about, I don't know. It's just chugging along, whatever. All of a sudden, last night, spur of the moment, I, I have to expand my room. Expand. Now, this is a small room. This is my studio. It's my healing space. So when you book an appointment with me, you come here. And this is the room that we'll do it in. This is So I also used to do hands-on healing. But this is where the reconnection energy, the reconnection energy, if you don't know anything about it, look up Eric Pearl and look at the uh, reconnection healing. But there's also the reconnection connection, which is one of the things I do. And I have... Um, Pass the certification is to know how and what steps to draw the energy in and to put the energy around people that have to do with the reconnection connection. It's a very powerful um, energy that connects strand, strands and strings. It's as above, so below. It connects those meridians, it connects the communications, and it connects it so that you can become a better healer because you're getting your ego out of the way. You become better intuitive. Hence, there's a lot to do with why I know how to do the readings that I do today. <clears throat> okay, so it is on these attunements and or in the reconnection is not an attunement, but it is to some degree that it jumps you on your spiritual path. What I've been taught is all about energy, that we're all energy and that this is an illusion. And then I have a great amount of information along the way. Now, if you're here, say hello. Now, spirit loves to communicate to all. And spirit has all of these stories and things that helps humanity to grow, to wake up. You are no longer having to be just a human being in a multidimensional universe. You are so much more. Hello. You're so much more. Uh, <clears throat> it's so important to understand that you starting to have urges that you don't understand. Now, every day you have had aches, pains, symptoms, physical symptoms. And this isn't just because the 5D world's coming in. These are your normal everyday accumulation of life. You know, aches, pains, car accidents, leftover res residue, fighting in a family, leftover residue, your body creates boundaries, your body, and those are not even healthy boundaries for you. And But <clears throat> we're not separate identities, we're a whole. But yet we live separately in our bodies. So some of you, <clears throat> this is where you have the Medicine Woman Solution that have the information how to become a spiritual human and this is what's happening you are becoming a spiritual human you are a multi-dimensional spirit that is living in a 
day-to-day -day existence, but you don't know your program. And part of my job is to take the woo-woo out of what's the mysterious. It's not mysterious, it's just that you don't have the knowledge. And most of the time we stay away from the mysterious because it is unknown and we have been taught through our first, second, and third chakras that we're supposed to be afraid of the unknown. And the unknown is the quantum field of potential, all the waves of potential. But there's a lot of good, but we don't go there. We usually go into one particular space. And one of the things that we have to pay attention to is that we got to get back and come back into balance of the yin and yang. It has to come back into that balance of yin and yang. Why? Because that's where we're heading. We're creating a unity of yin and yang. We're creating the marriage of how they work together in a figure eight form. It's no more of this split. There's no more of one dominant versus the other. No more of having to be hidden. We've gone through all of this with our soul. We have finally, on a soul level, began to realize that it's so much more. It's so much more. What does all this mean? Well, you're ready to wake up, not just to what is life. You're ready to wake up to physical ailments. You're ready to wake up to, this is my life environment and how that triggers your triggers that have been installed as you were being ego human. You get to look at your program. So I get to help you, guide you, teach you, because I've been there and done that. And it's so important to do the healing. Because when you begin to wake up and see the patterns, and you begin to wake up and see the strategies, and you begin to wake up, there's no turning back because you're like, huh, that's why I'm doing it. And no more do you have to be an ego and take offense. No longer do you have to live in the first, second, and third chakra alone and go, oh, my God, I got to go to flight like freeze, and I got I to gotta be stressed. I got it. It's time to upgrade them, up level up. If you're a game player, it's time to skill get build skill building. It's time to change some of those words where ego says we have to be afraid. It is time to spiritually be a spiritual being, going, oh, that's why I do this. That's why I do that. All of these things. And <clears throat> just to stop for a second, we have Sarah Bailey that says I needed to see the video today, going through an awakening. Yay! But it's like I take one step forward and two steps back. Exactly, because what the information that I've learned, I've been there. I've been doing this for over 30 years. And actually, I've been doing it longer than that. I've been doing it since birth that I would experience life and not quite understand it, then get these setbacks, and then um, I could and I, and I couldn't look at it like how my mother, my father, my siblings, my classmates, uh, my environment or, you know, the, the community, I couldn't look at it that way. And so every time I would communicate with people, I would talk about the exact same thing, but in different language from a, the other perspective. And they were like, oh, God, she doesn't know what the heck she's talking about, blah, blah, blah. And it's not true. It's absolutely not true because I, I people now then will come up to me and go, you're saying the exact same thing, but nobody can hear you. And so then I would learn how to communicate with spirit. And then it wasn't that I was over here going, oh, spirit, la, 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 and then I look crazy. No, I would see synchronicities, the stuff you're going to see. You're starting to wake up, and the veil is kind of like peeking. You're like, oh, my God, I can see it. And, and then if you don't, if you look at it with ego, it starts to disappear. Well, this is where I'm supposed to help you take information give it to your brain. Your brain gets excited. The brain wants to learn more. The brain says, oh my God, I don't have to predict anymore. I can see the light. Why? Because your brain, what happens to your brain? It's in your skull. What happens to the, to the brain? It's so dark. And if you feed it shit, that's all it knows. Why do we want to sing? I have no idea why that's happening. But it's the rhythm. It's the music of our soul. It is the way we're going. There's a great story, and I'll have to eventually remember those. Um, but the guy lived in, these prisoners lived in a cage. And I know some of you know the story. And all they could see were shadows on the wall from the light, from outside. But they had believed that those shadows out there and what was casting the shadows were evil. It wasn't. 
but it's our perception. It's what we know. It is how the skull only knows certain things. And then it's the brain that says, I have to predict because that looks like that. And it's going back to association. It goes back to, this is what I know. This is the definition. This is what I know. And when I teach you, I'm showing you that you can look at the definition, change the definition, and change the picture because I want you to come out of that cave just a little bit more, bring a little bit more light in so you can see that all the things that were scary and shadows <clears throat> are not true. It's a puppet show. But how we interpret it, how we you know, do things. So it's important. So as we look, some of you may have noticed that my backdrop's different. Okay. And like I said, I expanded. I kept saying, I need a bigger space. Thank you, spirit. Need a bigger space. And knowing how spirit has changed my, my, me and my husband's front yard on the side and in the back and put a pathway. So this is a maze that we have in our yard that eventually, uh, in maybe two years tops, it should be ready to go so people can come and do healings. And you can walk it, and you can do it all in a loan, or you can do it in a group, you can do it in a healing. But the thing is, is you start off in the front, and you go through the seven chakra phase. And there's different events, different things you can do, different cards that you, you should be drawing so that you can re-ask the same issue differently. But because the energy of the space is going to be so increased frequency wise because of the energy of uh, love that I keep praying into this space, you're going to start getting answers along your path. If you are in that space to receive, then the whole path, I mean, there's a whole path we, around the pool. He built, he built this beautiful oasis, my husband did. And the path, he's like, there's no way. All of a sudden, now there's a path. I mean, literally, it's like the trees decided, oh, I'm going to give you a couple, you know, inches. And now there's a path. And the trees are growing. You can walk under them easier. So it's all happening. <clears throat> well, that's what I did to the space. And, you know, a couple of my clients would come over. And, and if I, they, were, they were on, sometimes they get on. They could even tell you, they're like, yeah, it's, it's big and it's small. So it's like a TARDIS. <laughs> For those that watch, you know. Doctor Who. So we have just an, a massage table, and I'm going to be doing Brenda specials again. Now, those that are in Michigan knows what the Brenda specials is, and that is I get myself out of the way, and I listen to where to put my hands. You know, touch certain points so it creates a circuit and rebalance you up to and then, then help you remove the trapped emotion. And you can do them individually, or you can have them zing out of your body. We're going to talk about different levels so um yeah see in sarah bailey you're right when people i mean when you begin to see it differently you're going to find people that, that just don't get you and that means you're beginning to set a new tone this isn't bad but you were born to stand out why you had a job to do hi sajada um you have a job to do your normal everyday existence has purpose that you did not know existed, but as you begin to feel the difference and the urge and the purpose, what happens? You get to bump up to the paradigms that you used to have, bump up to the boundaries that your fight, flight, freeze created. And who's going to display them? It'll be the first rings out, second, third. These are people. These are situations. This is life. And you can bump up against them and then take your energy and contract back because it can be so hot, hot, intolerable, violent, scary, but that's only because you haven't transformed your first, second, your third chakras or energy centers or brain centers, but their level of consciousness to get back to God. And you're upgrading, up leveling, and you are learning to un uninstall some of those things that don't need to be there you upgrading your stress system to not have to be so stressful. It is a new program that's coming in, okay? But you have purpose, but you don't know it because you haven't quite connected with that soul part of you, and you're still listening to the environment that you're up against that paradigm that says, who do you think you are, blah, 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 you're stupid, but, and you get to hear all these condemnations, but when you learn to pull the twangs of emotions out, you're going to be completely surprised that the energy starts to come in and you let it in more into your nervous system and you're going to be able to hold it and then it starts to vibrate the energy out that it starts changing people's minds. You're going to be the one that sets the tone and you didn't even know it. And I don't care how advanced you are or not how advanced you are, you chose to hold this frequency. 
So good job. Now to help you not to have to believe those old programs. Okay, you don't need those anymore. And let's see. So we have Leslie and Catherine. Oh, thank you. Yeah, this is me throwing my stuff together. This is the stuff. This is, I got this at Nimbin. If you ever go to Nimbin, it's a great place to go. And this I got. Uh, <laughs> I went to Kmart and it's gonna pay what fifteen, and I got it for three. I'm like, seriously? I'm about ready to say no. I think the wrong price is on there, and I was willing to pay more. I'm like, take the gift, Brenda. Yes, I'm going to allow. <laughs> Here's my three dollars. Thank you for that. I'll just wear it out. <laughs> This is uh, something else that Spirit has um, started to do for me. And this is what happens when you begin to uh, listen to Spirit. I'm supposed to make all kinds of different Baba ones, but my, and I do. And so if you want them in Australia, you have to contact me. But if you live in the United States, um, then you can contact me and, or you can contact Amy directly. And um, some of you are beginning to understand that Amy um, uh, Jensen Schmals, I always call her, want to call her AIM, uh, but she has um, said, okay, let's do this. And then she's the artist on that end. So we have different kinds of healing tools, and one of, this is one of them. <sighs> Christmas time. The reason we have Christmas carols was to help bring in the light while the dark seems to be so heavy. And it is the light of hope. It is the star that shines us home. So if you notice, there's a star of hope here. And there's another star there that says hope on it. And those, it's, it means Christ. The Christ consciousness is coming in and it lights the way. I'm here to help you look at not a religion, but the consciousness of this ability to see beyond ego, to understand the urge that there's something more to life and, and, and to help you get through the confusing chaoses. And I've been helping people that have been extreme depression and that have been demons and curses and hexes and things. And I'm like, what? And Spirit says, you need to look at the thing that goes back to the only thing, and that is thought. So that means you were a thought, you were a thought, you were a thought. God was a thought. The consciousness of the void says God was important. God was a thought. And then God said, oh, I contemplated, I created a mirror consciousness, and he created us with a soul, con with a, with a soul which is a recorder. And God says, what, go out and do what I did. So we're co-creators to some degree, yes? Yes. How's this? The thing is, is that everything is mirrored. So whatever we choose, God agrees. Everything that we deem uh, good, bad, or indifferent, God says, your call, whatever you choose. So when we got here, we chose to believe that the devil is to punish us, but really it is the self-punishment because if we were asked, you know, do you want to go to heaven? And, and, and what do we do? We go through our programs and we feel mm, we can't quite get to that energy field. And we can't. So then the more human we are, the more we you don't realize it. But the archetypes kick in. The victim, the self-saboteur, the prostitute, and the child of many forms. And so you're developing that soul. Okay. It's very important to understand where you're going. And it's these levels. It's not, oh, I just got a psychic powers. <laughs> I'm going to take the woo-woo out of it to some degree, but I'm also going to build you that confidence. I'm going to build you that um, ability. Let's we'll see if this light is too much. I don't know if that light changes it too much or not. Good, bad, or indifferent, name. Eh? What was that? I turned the light on. Is it good, bad, or indifferent? Okay. All right, we'll leave it on. Now, spirit is, the energy is, is speeding up, and I can feel it. So now what's happening is that I can feel, for me, it's going out, and a lot of you are, are beginning to feel differently and, 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 and pick stuff up. Now, the reason why I chose these pages is because they need to be developed. The one page that Medicine Woman Solution needs to be developed. Now, how do I differentiate in differentiate those pages? Well, I don't, but I favor one more or the other because I had the road that I started on. But the people that are on 
these other two pages are not necessarily always on my one favorite page. But this reaches out to people that are impasse. This reaches out to different global areas. And I am trying to figure out how do I broadcast on all three fan pages. And Spirit does it again. Hey, AIM, you have an extra iPad. AIM, you've got this. AIM. And, and, and Spirit, without realizing it, has rearranged for her and me to, I think, come back to each other's lives. Because I believe we have worked together, I feel, many, many, many times, at least eight times, to keep doing this. It's coming back to this point. Oh, we're going to take a little bit further each time. Okay. And so I prayed that, okay, how am I supposed to do this? Thank you for the answers. So be it, I trust. I don't sit there and go, oh, my God, I can't do it, blah, 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 blah. I just say, ah, it's coming. The answer's coming. Ooh, it's going to feel good when it's here. How do I know? Because I've received. Because this one works, this one works, this one works. And even though I may not feel like, oh, I don't have the money, I don't have this, I don't have the t No, you just sit back and you say, what do I need? Thank you, Spirit. Something will get provided. Um, so it's important. Now, and all of a sudden, energy is being shifted. This is what I really want to talk to you about. Okay? Some of the classes that I'm going to be teaching. Some of the things that we've always been talking about is that you have physical symptoms. Some of it can be acne. Some of it can be the pain in my shoulder. Like, for instance, the pain in my shoulder. Physio says, oh, you got a shoulder impingement. That's that, right? Nothing else, right? No. It goes back to a thought. It goes back to the emotion that creates that thought. Thoughts are electrical and emotions are magnetic. And when those come together, they form life. They form your particular personal life, whether it's good, bad, or indifferent. What happens? The body remembers. You, in your brain, predict, and then you delete, distort, and generalize. Why the hell do you do that? Because who in the hell wants to take in 4 billion bits of information per second? Go ask somebody that feels like they're crazy. Go ask somebody that has autism and Asperger's. They take in energy differently. They, they take in more bits of information than we can. And they actually learned how to handle it by being a different, different state. Okay. Okay, Sarah Bailey. Sarah says, I have the shoulder pain on the right side. It locks up when I try to move in one way. How do we heal it through without any medical intervention? Perfect. I've had people coming to me telling me about their ailments. So this morning, now, a lot of you know that I that the spine had gone into scoliosis. My sco the, the spine is doing its thing. It's a program. I'm not going to own it. I'm not going to sit there and say, my scoliosis, and like, it's never going to be able to go away. What can be created can be uncreated. Okay? And I'm always asking, really? And I had to get over the hump that you can do what? And a miracle is a shift in thought. Wait, what? We're created thought? Thought creates? And a miracle is a shift in thought? Hmm. So all these things started to come together. So this morning, I'm laying there. I felt my shoulder. Now, this is what they refer to as shoulder impingement, and based on the fact that my spine curves uh, crookedly back here and creates an S, you know, weird shape. And I noticed that my energy was contracting in. We'll get back to that. Really? You're going to interrupt now? Hmm. You're going to interrupt. Amy? Remind me to talk about this before the end of the show. That's how we're going to fix that. She's got it. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now, getting back to the shoulder impingement. Yeah, see, they're satisfied. Okay, so the shoulder is, is uh, and, 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 and you have to understand that we are energy. We have to label those energies, and the best way to do it in a life force, this is your personal life force. Chi is a personal life force. Your energy, which is a personal life force, it is your personal power. So don't get confused by power. Oh, that person just wants power. No, you need to have your power, okay? 
It's a personal life force power. It's not about taking anybody else's power. It's not about being in a power and lord it over everybody and be lofty. No, 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 no. So some of those that are listening, it's, this information is not for you if you can't get over that thought. Now, if you are taking certain amount of your life force and designated it to this life thought, this life issue, this life experience, then you can listen further. I go to the physio and I'm, I'm laying there on the bed and he's using just his thumbs to manipulate and communicate with that muscle, that fascia that's tight, that pH, potential hydrogen is off balance, that information. And as he's going, Spirit said, ask him this question. And so I'm like waiting for the question and then I hear it. And I don't even know how, what I said, but the next thing you know, he's answering. The spirit says, cool, pay attention. I said, oh, all right. And he says, your nerves, what's interesting? Because spirit started to talk to him. Yeah, he could be smart, he's, he could be his knowledge, but spirit said, I just want you to listen to the vibration because it's me talking through him. He says, your body, your nervous system, pretty much remembers everything that you've gone through. And I said, is that probably why when I broke my two fingers and this one uh, still hurts, this one isn't broken, but I can't really close my hand all the way. So I lose M&Ms, <laughs> rice, <laughs> it's like ah, money. <laughs> and he says, the energy of the force came at it so hard that it broke these two. The energy built up and didn't go nowhere. The nerves remember that. He says, and he says, that takes a lot of time and sometimes it never forgets. Hmm. So that means we have to work on the cells or the body pattern. Um, because if it's there, spirit always tells me it starts in the spirit and then comes down into the etheric form, the blueprint before it hits the physical. So there is the why it happened and all these other energies. Now, let's get back. For instance, he goes, imagine you stub your toe. That hurt. Okay, your nerves go, ah! And it records it. Now, your body has got these sensors on them, like eyeballs. And they're like, oh, there's that darn corner of the bed. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Now you're over here going, la, 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 la. And your body's going, she's not paying attention. Oh, my God, she's going to hit it again. Now, it's building, anticipating, and we do it again. Ah, the pain is twice as worse. You do it again, the, the, the body is going to say, do not even go near that bed. <laughs> and you're not listening. So then your body's energies are holding a pattern in that space, if that makes sense. Yes. And this is what our body does all the time. So I'm laying there this morning and I'm feeling all this pain in my shoulder. I feel my neck gripping, about ready to pop the uh, out, of, out of alignment. Now, the way my brain functions is this. Which meridian's doing this? Triple warmer. Oh, small intestine. Oh, large intestine. Oh, oh, what do I do? Well, I go right to the solution. Triple warmer is in hope therapy is our three S. So I'm holding that. I'm like, what am I supposed to think about? What am I supposed to, what am I supposed to feel? They go, just go to the body sensation. Oh, God, yeah, that hurts. <laughs> so I'm listening to it. And then I hear the body saying, oh, but we don't want that to happen again. Ah! And I'm like, oh, you're in high alert. What don't you want to happen again? And then I'm hearing that it's like the first thing that it did was it was screaming was that it went into that um, there's going to be instability. Okay, so it's anticipating instability, whether it's mental, emotional, or physical. So there's a pattern of my routine of my everyday existence that somehow the button's going to get pushed because um, an engram is everything equals everything. So no matter what day and age this is, 
I could follow it back to when I was younger. Okay? There was always some chaos, some negative, some fight in the bedroom when you have to get wake up for school or you have somebody that you have to sleep because we slept a lot in the bed um, because of the small place and then people would be angry and there would be some fighting and blah, blah, blah. My body is like, ah, this is why when I sleep, my husband, it's like, okay, we have a king size bed and I love my husband, but after the snuggles is, okay, you got to get way over there. Don't touch me. <laughs> I need to sleep. <laughs> so, you know, I love my snuggles, but when I want to sleep, I need my brain to relax and not go into the fret. So my triple warmer kicks off. Now, as the triple warmer, understand it goes from this finger up. Now, these are these are alarm points through here. Okay, this is why you can rub this to calm it down, this to send energy all over, and this one sometimes to calm it down. And then sometimes you hold the pulse point to really get the body to cooperate. Now, I didn't heal this yet. I'm feeling on scale from zero to 10. It says it's a nine. I'm like, yeah, it feels like a freaking nine. And for me, I will feel it right here where they say the impingement. Okay. And I can even hear how the bones and the muscles are all like angry. Okay. And, and then it can hurt. And so you can go into that spot because you have acupuncture points all along the way okay but it goes up it, there's a direction so it goes from the fingertip up comes up and goes up and around and it stops here okay now you can calm it down with it with by going and you can actually draw it backwards as a way of flushing um, and then you rest your hands there and then you breathe in and out. It's all about the breathing, all about the holding and then ah, finish it off. Okay. That's one. You can do a triple warmer smoothie, grab, grab, stay there, breathe, hold, relax, and then switch sides. But in this case, I wanted to hear the body is saying that it has to go into an installed program. What does that mean? So I'm listening to how my body is going, oh my God. And it has nothing to do with the present moment, but there's some trigger that's triggering it. I look over, my husband's a male. My body goes, yeah, do you remember that? Do you remember this? Do you remember that? I'm like, oh my God, it has a memory. And it's bitching. <laughs> oh, it's, or it's signature. Oh, did you see that temperament that person had? This and this, this and this. You saw it there when you were a kid. Oh. The body's talking to you all the time. Now, what was interesting is that I, as I'm starting to hold this, I felt it relaxed just enough. And then I switched. And I thought, what? And it said that it wanted to go. And I, it was interesting because it was all like right wrist. It went from triple warmer. Now, a lot of you have depression, anxiety, um, fear. I want you to hold right third position, nice and soft, finger here, and I want you to hold it. So you're going to be holding it just like this, and you're going to stay there. And if you have anxiety, focus on the anxiety. If you have uh, depression, just keep your hand there, because as I was talking to getting this information for my book, it, 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 he explained that when I'm, I'm helping, I can see the root. I don't want to do the Band-Aid, I, I, but I can't, I, I can't take away your safety blanket. There's, there's this. But when you are at a certain height, your brain waves at a certain high beta, but your body's consciousness is a very height, what will cause is this. It'll be in the middle of a train track. The train is coming. Do I want to tap and heal it, or do I want the F out of the way? That is your fight, flight, freeze. That is your first, second, and your third chakra. That is your survival mode. It has not evolved. And I'm helping you evolve that. But if you're stuck, like in a movie frame, you have one picture. And if you look at it individually, they look like still shots. But then when you play them fast, it's a movie. That's how your body records and remembers. So it's looking at still shots. 
that's moving very fast. It's like um, <clears throat> how do we want to put it? So we're in this world, and time is up here. We're 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 looking at space and we're experiencing space and time this way. But if you were in that particular part of your body, it is the time within that space. It's the opposite to some degree. And so as we're looking at that particular memory, we have to look at how fast it's moving in that still point. And it's very important to address it on a healing level. Now, that sounds like a lot of information, but at the same time, it doesn't. If you begin to learn the different ways I use words and the words that I use and how they define them. So then <clears throat> my body was going back to that age but my body's nerves are going ah here's this now I was standing there talking to my husband now I can't smell because I shut that off but at the same time I was tasting something that I didn't know but I knew the taste of because it's association of her memory I says why is my body doing this when my husband can't experience now he's going to experience something different anyway but at the same time, my body's doing an anticipation of fear. Without you realizing, about 10 k's away, there is a major raging fire. And it's destroyed over 80 some homes. I think it just took one life. Thank goodness it only took one life. But it has destroyed a lot of trees, a lot of animals, a lot of homes. And it's only since, what day did that fire start, Amy? A few days ago. I can't remember, but this is so Thursday here, so Friday. Yeah, so it's about a three day. So it's get Friday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Yeah, and and it's been it's but it's raging, and so we have a smoke. So we haven't seen the sun because of the uh, the haze that's there. Now sometimes it'll lift, sometimes it won't. But <clears throat> I hadn't gone outside, and I was talking to him, and my body is going. Now I know I need to go out and feed the birds. So my body is already going out ahead of me. This is what your cells do. It already knows what you're going to do, how it's going to act, where it's going to stand, how it's going to behave and do things. Now, if I went to Amy's house, I know exactly what house. I don't know her house, but I could tell you my cells already know where I'm going to sit, how I'm going to communicate with her. It already has this uh, knowing, depending on how it's un going to unfold. So I'm standing there. I know I need to go outside, but I'm not thinking about it. But my body goes, ah, I could taste the smoke even though, and I could smell the smoke, even though it's not real, okay? But it's in a memory. Now, when I go outside, it, it, you know, if I can't smell it, and he does, it's another protective shield. So I'm in, so these are all these things, and I started noticing my body, okay, it was going into an asthma attack. And so I said, okay, I'm going into an asthma attack. What's going on? My liver meridian is kicking in, causing it to, so directly my body's going into that memory of excitement. The excitement, good or bad, is an excitement. And then it goes into rational thinking. That energy makes the liver function, the organ function, producing it to either not to be able to process or to go into um, a high alert that there's too much foreign bodies, um, but it doesn't have to actually have to be a threat. And, and then it goes into the thinking. Now, my liver started to dump its energy and, and affect the lungs. So if, and, and I don't have my chart, but the energy... That's the, that reminds me, I need to do that. I need to get to show you how the energy of the elements. So you have water that affects fire, fire affects metal, and metal affects wood, and wood affects earth, and earth affects water. And so when you have um, wood, which is liver and gallbladder, it, and it goes over to affect earth, which is um, stomach and, and spleen, okay, and then it goes down to affect the water, fire, and then it goes to wood. So it has a pattern, but then it can go backwards and forwards, and then it could go in a very odd directions. And these are all controlling mechanisms in some form. So healing on an elemental level is huge. 
It's very important to understand. So my liver will go backwards so that the wood affects the metal, which means it could dull the metal. Wood could dull the metal. The metal is meant to cut through wood, but the metal is lar um, large intestine and lung. But the wood is actually dulling, so it's doing the reverse effect. It's, it's literally dulling it instead of, so it's out of balance. Does that make sense? So in the physical body, the organs, the liver, is out of balance, affecting my lung, which then causes me to have bronchial issues. But it also affects the throat, which then, because I've healed a, a, so far back, it, my liver, even though it affects those the meridians, it doesn't affect the lung directly. It goes into the throat, which means it trips the triple warmer. And then my triple warmer will go off, and I can feel all my nerves going, oh! I'm not nervous, I'm not any of that, but my nerves are going, oh yeah, we remember the time, da, 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 da. we gotta get in high alert, this is um, safety protocol, everybody take and, and you know, pending doom is coming, even though in my life there is no pending doom, really. I know that even though it's 10K away, because of the way that the stress levels are, the first set of houses, second set, third set, now it could just come right, right through, but the way that the fire brigade, God love them, they have fire retardant stuff. They really go out of their way to protect the homes that are more in suburban land than it is in the farm country. Okay, they do everything they can, but when you have more trees, more dry stuff, more stuff that is like for Kindle, you know, it's much harder to keep under control. And then if you got the wind, God, we had such wind, and that's what started it to be so progressively worse. Um if that makes any sense. And, and so it just happens. And so I'm not as fearful because I've seen patterns of how um, things happen. Okay. Now, I don't really see it as a threat because spirit has calmed my soul. Spirit has said everything's good. Spirit says you already have a, um, a bushfire safety protocol in place so you have that form of safety and there's no worries I'm like okay gotcha and so I'm trusting with faith and spirit that if I need to be called to action spirit will say go now I know I'm pretty good with call of action because of all of the things that I've had to face with my children being hurt or my mother needing assistance um, I'll be the only level-headed there because spirit comes in and says one, two, three, four, and then I'm boom, 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 and it's done. Now, I could be good in an emergency situation, but I do not want to work in an emergency situation. That's why I'll not go to work in a, in a hospital or any of that because by the time I get done, my nerve says, oh, is it over? Okay, fall to pieces. <laughs> why does it do that? Because my emotions are creating these chemical peptides in such a rapid fire, I know how to organize them. It knows how to function, but the moment that it's over, the chemical peptides have to go somewhere. Instead of healing them out, the body has to figure out where to dump them, if that makes any sense. And that's why a lot of people like will work their ass off all week, go on vacation and, and then die on their vacation because all the stress has to dump somewhere. And if you don't have a tool to take care of the chemical peptide buildup, then it can come in and kick your ass. Now, that's separate from how the nervous system holds all the patterns that you've ever done and, and it anticipates and lives futures in advance way before you. I have watched people that have anxiety attacks where their cells go out, but they go out a little bit further and already begin to predict with their mind through their ego and irrational part of them that this is how I'm going to be treated and already imply that I've done it before I've done it. And I will watch the situations because those trigger points are so installed that they're 
and, and, and it's so fascinating to watch because I just want to save them, but I'm actually watching how their body is trying to save them, even though it's not. And then the person in their mind's going, oh my God, I'm going freaking crazy. Because they don't want to live that over and over. And I totally get that. I wouldn't want to because that's insanity because you, you can't make it stop, but you can. And that's what Spirit's trying to be telling me is that you can. I just have to begin to see how complicated it is, but it's not. Okay. So, <clears throat> now, our bodies are constantly communicating. And one meridian will trigger an alarm and then say, okay, I, I, this is the pattern. Boom, can bring up four other immediate meridians. Now, if you were going to work just on the meridians, you're like, oh, there's really nothing wrong with them. They have seen balance. I'm not asking you to balance the meridians. I'm asking you to balance the program, the strategy, whatever it is that your body is doing that's saying that it has to live in the future that this is happening. And we begin to heal this. Now, how does this shit happen? Because emotions are the end product. You got this? The emotions are the end product. They can't exist without this next part. You understand? The emotions are the end product of an experience from the past. You can't erase your past, but you can go back and heal that past. Does that make sense, Amy? Yeah, it does. Okay, so when I'm talking to the nerves, the nerves are going, oh, well. <gasps> now, sometimes there's no words for it. It's, uh, uh, I mean, you hear the body bitch and moan all the time. Oh, do I have to bend over and pick that up? It's just going to hurt. <laughs> and when you begin, like, I will have to go to the bathroom. My body says, you need to pee. Pop thought in my head, I got to go to the bathroom. And, but no, I'm too busy talking to Amy. Blah, 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 blah. Body says, oh, I got to go pee. Now, all of a sudden, because I'm ignoring it in my head, all of a sudden I go, oh, I got to go to the bathroom. And she's like, okay, but I still don't go. All of a sudden, the body says, really, you need to pee. I'm like, God, I really need to pee. But no, I'm so engaged in the moment. And my body says, what the heck? Do I need to kick you in the ass? Do I need to make you wet yourself? Do I need to make you sneeze? And then you wet yourself. And then, then you have to get up and then finish and clean yourself up. <laughs> Why not? Let's do that. <laughs> That's like a little bitch slap for your body. You're like, ah, oh, fuck, no. So it's important to pay attention. <laughs> That's just a little scenario, but it is, it's always talking to you. You may not even begin to understand that sometimes you'll say shit out of your mouth that, that you don't even know that your body made you say it because it's related to something that's going on in your body, but it does. Flip it talking. My husband's a great guy, but I, I'm just take, basing it on my past here. So I'll be sitting there. And my body's going, oh, yeah, wait till he comes home and he has to do his chores. No, this isn't based on this man. And it's like my body already knows that I, can, I have to wait my turn. I can't talk to him. He's got to decompress. He's got to do this. He's got to do that. It's all about him. Da, 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 da. And again, it's not the husband I'm married to now. All right. My body goes, yeah, it'll be about two hours. But then if he doesn't really want to fit you in, what are you going to do? Oh, God. Yeah. So in my head, I'm going, Jesus, here he goes again. The bitching. Do you hear that? Okay. Or if I'm talking to my friend, God, you should have seen him how he acted today. Do you understand those words are locked into the nerves? If you can catch those little things you say or <clears throat> do, your nerves are telling you what's locked inside. And, 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 and if you don't eventually address them and heal them out, then they're going to create aches, pains, and, and whatnots. Does this make sense? Yes? Yes? Good. Yes. So, <laughs> Carrie Ann says, I have autism, but I have a disconnect with understanding feelings correctly, apart from fear. Um, but what you're talking about uh, wows me to think I've created my own shit. Now, here, okay, Carrie Ann, I want you to understand. There's a difference between <gasps> blaming yourself and understanding your programs of yourselves and of your soul. Okay? Your ego will go, oh my God, I'm taking offense. Ah! No, that's ego. We're not blaming anybody. It is the way the nature of things are. You are a, an observer into your world. You are the uh, one to, to feel or not feel. Now, carry on. Since you feel, uh, uh, I'm going to say it wrong. 
oh, it starts with an A, uh, uh, um, alexithemia is the inability to oh, uh, <laughs> inability to feel or understand or describe your emotions. It, it is a form of a disconnect. Now, one of the things spirit would want me to do would go look and see what emotion, what experience, whether it, it was a physical, mental, emotional, or spiritual thing that occurred, whether time of conception up to a certain age, or if it was a past life or genetic. Okay. That has been carried on through a miasm or a way to express itself. But it's all it's telling you is that somewhere point on the timelines, an unresolved issue was there. Okay. And it gets reintroduced in this life to see if you can resolve it now. But if we don't understand the past and the emotions that is end result from the past, and we don't understand the unresolved issue is from the past, but recreating itself so that no matter which body you're choosing to choose, it's still asking you, can you resolve this? Do you still have to believe this way? Do you still have to feel this way? Do you still have to take that temperament on? Do you still have to? Do you, and in your, your fight, flight, freeze, your levels of consciousness, first, second, and third is saying, um, can we evolve past this? Okay. Which is the paradigms. And then you have the things that's happened into the world of behaviors between men and women in the encoding. <coughs> so, I would say for carry on, there are particular um, experiences, specific emotions that are dislodging you that causes a disconnect because you're, I feel like that's a safety protocol that had happened somewhere along one of those timelines. Okay. Do a timestamp. I think it's 52 minutes in or about 50, 48 minutes in Amy and say, I need to send this to Carrie Ann if she's not listening. Because I want her to understand. I don't want her to blame herself. I don't want her to misunderstand. Oh, wait a minute. Is she there now? I don't know. But anyway, I'll look at it in a minute. Um, but somewhere along the line, the unresolved issue appears. And when you your ego is operating through the first chakra, that level of consciousness, it can't go beyond that until you heal it or get past that arrested development. Same thing when your ego goes through the second and third. So let me give you an example of how this does this. So Amy. So Amy, do you have any... Um, um, do you have any scars on your body? Oh, my God, yes. Okay. See how her mind said, oh, my God, yes. For two seconds, after I asked the questions, not even two seconds, her brain went down to her first, second, and third shock and go, data, please, data, please. Oh, data. Oh, oh my God, yes. Okay. If I were to say, which chakra did she go to first? They, she went into her first, and then she went to the second. And her second chakra said, this is where I've got a boatload of scars. I can tell you all my stories. Now, she would share a story. Let's say she has a scar on her belly. Okay. And she's telling me the story. And, and then all of a sudden, my mom, see, her brain did it again. She goes, oh, I have three. So her, she went down to her data banks and went into her second chakra and says, oh, I have three. Now for me, I would go in and I'm like, oh my God, I remember the time. So I go down into my second chakra and I'm looking for the data of what my experiences were that created the scars on my body. So this is how we communicate through chakras. It's not even about communication. It's chakra communication. You just don't know you do it. Okay. So let's say um, to, it, um, if I were to have a bad, exp um, let's see, do we want to look at uh, family issues? Okay. So I grew up with an alcoholic. Amy, did you grow up with somebody in your life that was an alcoholic? Yes, ma'am. Now she just went. I was at, I had pulled up the information from my first chakra. Now I presented that information and her body went whoop, went down to her first chakra, collected the data and says, yep, this is where it's at. So when you're evolving your chakras, it's evolving the stories. It's evolving the emotions that are the end results of those motions of those stories and those experiences. Do you get what I mean? That you have to take and do the work when you want to do chakra healing. It's not about just waving the energy of emotion. You can do that, which helps uncover. You can do hope therapy, which can uncover, but you really need to understand 
what's unconscious and incompetent, that it needs to reveal itself as conscious competent. You need that level. That's why I do what I do. And that's why it's so successful. The people are evolving because I'm presenting that data they can't see. And when they see it and they see it in a way, then all of a sudden it's bam. They're like, oh, hell yeah, I can see that. And when they see that data, now they can get caught up in their story with their ego. Mm -mm 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 -mm, or they can stop with their spirit and say, Do, I want to take the end result of those emotions and resolve them out to evolve the story. So the memories are always going to be a memory. You store them in the little pockets. Your, your chakras then start to evolve. So what I do doesn't just work on the inner child. It works on the chakras. It works on forgiveness. It works on such a soul level. It works on the conscious level. This is not meant to be just one little thing. It's meant to evolve all those parts of yourself. Amy, does that, what I said, did make, does that make sense to you? Yes, ma'am, it does. Okay, so now I just want to go over to, uh, oops, I got to grab the right mouse. Um, oh, good. Carrie Ann's not offended. She says, I get it. I've been ill, as you know, for a year. Yes, Carrie Ann, I've been praying for you, sending love and energy that you begin to, on a soul level to wake up so that you can have the life you that you deserve, which is joy and happiness. And so that's good to know. Um, she goes, oh, I've been sick for, for over a year now with no clue on how, uh, why or got better and it's in its shit. But this makes sense. I fear I'll never recover. That's the thing. Holy shit. Yes, this is where spirit then now has taken me to the next level. This is why we have Baba Wands and we have um, sigil protectors because it's about protecting you while you go through your freaking shit. You draw those lower vibrational frequencies that can make and enhance your things to be worse. And that's why I make personal um, sigils to help you, to help, I mean, if you can't sit there and say, oh, I got to do the Kelty Gleet, oh, I can't be bothered. If your energy and your mindset is not there, at least part of you begins to hold the frequency that's designated personally for you. So this isn't about just saying that, oh, I just going to pick up any sigil for protection. No, you're talking about personalizing it for you and your energy field, okay, while you're learning how to change your thinking, how to heal your shit. And that is what I do. And that's why I feel like I need to bring it to the classroom and so that people just pay a certain subscription to come and begin to heal it through a group, but yet individually, because I need to make it cheaper for you. I need to make it more widespread. I need to create this movement. And there's not enough of me in time to go around. So I have to figure out how can I help serve the masses on a low maintenance way of doing it without me, you know, spreading myself too thin. So, um, it, but fear, all of these will take you and drive you in such a way because you've been trying so, so long to your mind going, I got to make sense of this. You've been trying to cope, handle, deal, and pacify. You've been reaching out, reaching out, reaching out, reaching out, and it keeps coming to the same answer, okay? This is why I said to spirit, I need to heal, and I, because my, my mother got cancer, I says, I need the answer to cancer, and I know spirit's going to give it to me, and by God, spirit started giving me all kinds of answers, and now I understand why I went down this road and why I'm meant to be here to tell people that they can change. And, and you can have, you literally, Amy will say, I have an issue, and then I'll shoot across do the hope therapy or do a few rounds of EFT. Hold on source points, source point healing. Do this. And then she'll come back, and, they'll, and I'll, Amy will say, oh, my God, I can't handle my shit today. Ah! Physically, I've got this. Ah! And then I'm like, I can hear it because I've been there. I know that I've done that. I said, okay, fine heal this. So I go and I help her. And Amy, does it take uh, weeks, months? Oh, no. Well, what's your experience? It, it depends on really what the issue is. Um, it can 15 minutes max sometimes. And you feel a physical difference? Oh, yeah. I feel mental difference? a lot lighter. And what about mental and emotional difference? Uh, mentally emotional different 
I mean, happier. Um, ah, so joy comes uh, back. It's gone. Good. So she's evolving her survival skills. She's learning to upgrade, and she's learning how to get there. Okay, that's the good thing. Um. So, and 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 if you begin to understand your body your body or you understand how to do the basics of how to evolve how to become a spiritual human how to do these little things to your then your tools are in your toolbox and in you can't you know do what you need to do but if you step go into and find the answers inside pull in and say oh this is the tool in my toolbox i'm going to use this today then all of a sudden you're going to evolve yourself and you're going to evolve your chakras and in such a way that you're going to take the faster track of healing and that's what I want to see for all of you. Now, Sajada said, so it's not the mind anticipating based previous experience, but the body's current feeling. Yes. Now, I don't know if Sajada's still here or not, but the timestamp is one hour and one minute. So I want to make sure she gets her answer. Yes, your body's consciousness knows you better than you'll ever know yourself. And how? what do I mean by that? You think you live just in this conscious part of your brain. And functioning but you beam yourself your cells on your skin always put it out like a TV set to receive the signal from your soul of who you are it's your code okay and as it's you begin to beam yourself in you have to beam in every time you awaken and while you're asleep you're on another journey of healing okay what happens, oh, Sajada's here, good. So well, then what happens on the physical level is that while you're busy predicting, repeating, evolving, programming, or you're taking new information in and you're spiritually evolving on a physical level, your body is still maintaining all of the programs. The subconscious mind knows how to run the body, but it gets altered because it's holding on to these experiences. And, and your body has this feeling, the sensations, and it has its stories. And if I can connect your brain to your body, you start to create a, a coherency to, to heal it on a different level. And then it creates this evolution on the physical level, but it creates an evolution in your soul because your physical body cannot be affected unless your spiritual aspect or the morphogenic field gets altered. And when that changes, it's because spiritually you accepted, you believe, and you gave it your willpower, and you have changed your whole dynamics of who you are. When I can get you to do that, you change and you heal. And you, 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 you know, and, and it is very quite simple. Some people are going, oh, I'll never get over it. But Carrie Ann, if I told you that if we could heal this, you're, you have a chance. It's about the way you're going to shift your thinking. It's about the way you think. So I could tell you to hold a hope therapy point, and you're like, oh, my God, it's a 10. Yeah, yeah I can't feel. I can't feel. I, can't, I just can't put. I just, and, and that disconnection. And I say focus because that was your solution to the issues. If I said focus on how you can't connect, that is a sensation. That is a word. That is a feeling. That is a way to describe what the symptoms of the body are doing. And if she did that, she's a, this is a big fat pen. You know, it's always happens. I can see it. I can see it. I can see it. She knows it. It's, it's forward and backwards. She go to hold it. She's going to be able to, your body innate, your body's innate begins to do its job because now you're cooperating and communicating with that physical body and you're, you're making a marriage of yin and yang, bringing information in, and, and then the yang is about taking the healing out. Bringing the information in as yin and taking the information out. And then all of a sudden the innate goes, oh, finally we're creating a connection. And then this particular thing begins to heal. And your brain wave is like, ah, because your thoughts calm down, your emotions will begin to change, and you begin to take the key out of the cell because emotions are the chemical peptide that's like a key locked into your cells that says you have to activate how angry you are. Take the key out, it calms it down. But if you heal in a certain way that I um, highly suggest, you then start to rewrite 
the way the signals, the programs, the patterns are because you're going to wake up to, I don't have to think that way. I don't have to be that way. And the more we take the twangs of pains, of anger and emotions, any type of emotion, we take those twangs out and we uninstall those buttons. You don't really have to react that same way. You don't really have to. And for people that have cancer, one of the things I've noticed is if we can get you to look at the way the thought processing is, the way that you can't change your environment, the way that your body has to succumb to that it has to be in conflict and that it has no way to get out of it. It's like now it feels like it's insanity and we, and your brain's not, but your body is, and we have to get you to get that turn on the joy of life, to turn on that uh, oxytocin, to turn on your thymus, to turn it on and your immune system will listen to everything and it's in high alert. Your nervous system does the same thing, but your immune system can turn around and say, oh, she's been sad and you can have and train your immune system, become a sad immune system. And that immune system will stay sad until you resolve it. It'll, you programmed it, it'll be for that way forever unless you unprogram it. And your body, if it is going to be sad, or your immune system is going to be sad, it will then set up a whole different structure and the innate can't heal it because when you say to God that this is what I want to create and then and, and God said, you know, you wish is my command, I'm there for you, this is what you want. This is why when I'm telling you're healing and you're like, oh, yes. Thank you for the answer for cancer. You know, thank you for letting this be healed. Thank you. Okay. A lot of people pray the problem. A lot of people dwell in the emotion and you need to at times. I will tell you that. But when you live there and take up residency and you whinge and this becomes your home, then you are telling that spirit that this is what you want. This is why I always go back to when you pray and you say this is your order to the universe and the universe is going to deliver it to you and it's starting to come on its way because time is what we live in within this space. As it's happening, our next thought will say, oh, it didn't show up, therefore it must not be mine. And you lose hope. You just cancel that order or you put it on hold. Because in the next breath, you're like, oh, yeah, no, 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 I got this, I got this. But yet you're still producing those other hormones that says less than. So it takes longer for your order to get here. You need a shift in your consciousness. You need a shift in your behavior. You need a shift in how you accept to be treated and change it. You need to change different programs, okay? Those arrested developments. They really, okay, see you later. Uh, but it's, it's the way that things are. This is the way things go. So it's so important that you can allow yourself to shift in such a way. Does this make sense, Amy? Okay. The healing tools are what's important to understand that uh, do much laughing, do more comedy. Don't do dark comedy. I know it can be funny, but it just keeps you locked in. Now, if you're going to watch dark comedy, don't waste it. Wake up. I was watching um, a, a funny comedy show and I was laughing my butt off until all of a sudden the epiphany hit. That the relationship between the man and the woman is that they're always supposed to be in battle. The relationship between the man and woman is that they're supposed to hurt each other with their jokes, with their outdoing each other, with this condemnation, and then turn around and say, oh, I love you, and forgiveness. But this anticipation of hell and stress in their life, every second, second of their life, and then two seconds of joy. Spirit says, is it really that funny? I'm like, oh, fuck. I don't want to program myself that that's what a relationship is and that's what I, I'm prone to have to have in my life. I want to be in sync with my husband. I want to grow together. I don't want his issues always to throw in my face. I don't want my issues to always disrupt him. I want to get on the same page of healing. I mean, me and my husband have wrote into our contract before our wedding vows is that we're going to put our pieces back together. And any time that we have any type of argument, we're out of sync and we are aware of it and we take five. And then we heal our shit, come back together because that's our goal. And I love that man. 
it's been over five years and I, I just simply adore and love that man because we stay in sync. You know, we're out, we get back in quickly. The recovery time is so fast, there's not a buildup of shit where you have to eventually hate your husband or hate your wife. You don't have to go there because I also know that process. And that process is a nasty process. Like, let's say Amy and I are not on the same page, and you know we, we like each other, everything's great, but we're not on the same page. And all of a sudden, she's like, "Oh, there she goes again with her being late or here, you know, whatever, whatever could annoy her." She's going to build it up, and if she doesn't pay attention to those thoughts, she's going to create a story around those thoughts, and then she's going to create another story around those thoughts, and then she's going to create an intolerance. I'm not, I can't tolerate when Brenda says that or acts like that or does that, but she won't know that she just put up a wall to separate us. And I can say to her, you know, and I can point it out, but then she'll like, well, why are you taking offense? You know, she can, your body, every part of you, well, but you don't realize that the thinking has everything to do with the meridian that's firing off because it can be an unresolved program that's pulled from the past that she's bringing into the relationship now and boom it creates this this, this uh, separation does this make sense you're not doing that by the you're not doing that by the way but i just was trying to help you now you can see that with you yeah. and your husband oh yeah Definitely. Yeah. And, and and you even got to the point where you, fuck, I don't even want to heal that shit. I just, I don't mind healing him out of my life, but I no longer need to heal getting back to that relationship because I'm not there anymore. I'm completely a different person. And okay. I get that. I get that. And I respect that. Um, so, you know, if you need, how do I want to put it? 2020 is, is, we don't know what's coming except for the fact is, is the energies are shifting dramatically. And what's important to understand is that you're going to need extra tools and you're going to need to get this energy to shift in your mind. You, 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 I want you to grow with joy. I want you to have less bitch slaps and more whispering opportunities to not waste your shit. I go, Oh, here's the shit. You don't have to respond in such a, in a dramatic way, overreact, any of that other stuff, it, that temperament you end up creating because you couldn't resolve it. And I want you to be able to look at these unresolved st stories and go, shit. And, and and when when stuff happens, like for instance, me and my husband, and I'm like, oh, you know, and then I can feel it. It's not even a whispering opportunity. It's not a bitch laugh. It's not a flying one. It's not no one that's knocking you on the, your knees and making you cry like a baby. You know, it's a bee sting. Or it's like, oh, man, that just kicked me in the ass moment. There's different stages of how a person wakes up. And, and, it, and the more you ignore it, the more you ignore it, the more you ignore it, the more you're going to get that worst. So I'm trying to teach you how to catch it at the whisper, at the joy point. And you're like, oh, ha, ha. Oh, 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 shit. Okay, I need to heal that stuff. And you go to heal this, and you'll start to feel stronger together. And the turnaround time is quick, and you don't waste it. What do I mean by, do you know what I mean by don't waste it, Amy? Don't waste it. You you heal that shit instead of wasting it and getting a bitch slap later. Right. And the thing is, is that when the experience happens, it's raw. But that's the best time to heal it. To hear the stories. Hear how your thoughts are. Heal how you react. Heal how you've taken it in. How you lose power. And you take and you heal this. And and it, by wasting it, it is like you see it, you're like, ah, but you don't take notes. You don't witness. You don't you know, take a tool and heal it. Then later on, it'll boom, build up again. And then this time you're like, oh, I recognize it. Now, if you're consciously waking up, you're going to recognize it going, I should have taken care of it. But I don't want to waste it because I certainly don't want to go through all those freaking emotions again. It's like, no, 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 I don't want to go through this again. I'm going to change this pattern here and now I'm done. I'm not going to be insanity. I'm not repeating this shit. I'm done. Thank you for showing me what I need to know. And then you witness, write it down. And you use a tool and you heal and you grow, you resolve to evolve. Okay? You heal instead of deal. That is what we're talking about. I appreciate you all for coming. And thank you for the comments. What do I need? Okay, like this is a thing. You all need something uniquely different except for the very first thing is that you notice. Um, I got like two minutes, three minutes left. So what is the main issue with you, Leslie? Just real quick, what is the main issue with you? And then I got to go. Because what do you, I need? That's a loaded question because I can answer it from 
on the kaleidoscope of life, I can take out one perspective and I can begin to show you. If you are in a depressed mode, an anxiety mode, then you have to go in and you have to heal the alarm system and you have to get yourself off the, the darn train track and then you can heal the shit. But you have to heal it because if you decide to get yourself off the train track, calm that down and you don't heal the reason you were on the damn train track, then you're going to doom to repeat this. So you would heal that particular spot. Okay, that's what you would do. And then if you are have been waking up, you notice this pattern, oh my God, this happens every damn time. Then you're getting closer to learning about the mothership. You're going to learn and use the tools, and then you're going to learn. Hope therapy is going to be your best. EFT, if you don't do hope therapy, EFT, like, oh my God, I just can't stop thinking of that asshole. Even though I can't stop thinking of that asshole, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. These are the steps. This is what you need. You go through. And you can personalize yourself, yours in general. Okay, so Leslie says, my marriage is falling apart and miss my mom. Okay, I'm going to look and, does, and I'm going to say, when you miss your mom, does that affect your marriage? No, not directly, but it does indirectly. If I said, which one should she heal first? They want you to heal the heart because both of those center around the heart. And if I said, what's all of this have to do? And they said, well, it's good to go with giving up expectations, which is the small intestine. In the heart, it is frightfully overjoyed because you're frightened as hell, but you're overjoyed. For instance, like in a car accident, you're frightened as hell, but then you're overjoyed that you live. In this case, you're yo-yoing. You're, 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 yo you're going back and forth. So your heart and your small intestine. They're saying that your triple warmer keeps kicking off because you keep going and feeling that you're worthless. The first thing I would tell you to do is that you have to hear the words how you do it. Now, I would say to you, you need to hold R3S nice and soft, and you think about how worthless you feel like when your mother's gone, how worthless you feel when the relationship begins to fall apart with your husband. How, how you know what worthless is, how, how you even identify, accepted, and believed, and gave your willpower that this is my identity. I put that on a scale from zero to ten. Give it a color and number, and, and heal that out down to zero. Your thought pattern will begin to slow down. Your emotions will begin to unlock and calm down, and you heal it out to zero. Some people heal it only to three, and then it builds back up, but you heal it out. You heal it out. And then you go to the next thing you need to heal, and the next. But you're forever learning how to, once you get knocked down, stand back up. Next time, you won't be flat out on the floor. You may end up getting on just one knee. You heal enough that all of a sudden you're like, oh, that hit me, but I didn't fall over this time. You know, you begin to become stronger because your life force is not out there keep creating the shit. It's, it's actually coming in and healing this and every part of you. All right. Um, like I said, if you don't have um, know what hope therapy is, it's what I do. It's who I am. And there is all of these other things you can do. Um, EFT, there's all a bunch of other healing tools you can find at my website at medicine uh, for you dot Weebly. Eventually, I'm going to buy the name Medicine Woman Solution and take care of that shit. Look at the symbol on my wall. It, it is an M and a W and the S. Medicine Woman Solution. And it's the crown. Amy, do you remember why uh, Spirit chose that? Remember it that was, meme? Um, somebody would put it on your, had sent you the message that you, um, you straighten everybody's crown without letting the world know exactly. that you do it. Exactly. And then me that's why Medicine Woman Solution is that you don't need to tell the whole world that there's, you know, that this person has any of these issues. I mean, you get to talk about it on a soul level so deep that you realize you don't have issues. But we're going to fix that crown, and we're going to get you to man or woman to stand in to the fact that this is your life force, and you have every right to, to be alive and happy. We're going to give that back to you. you got to wake up and want it. So resolve to evolve, heal instead of deal, and remember, any shit that comes up, you can heal that. And what do I always love to say, Amy? Stay blessed. Stay blessed. All right. Well, I'll talk to you later. Share this video. Get other people watching it. Get them involved. They, you know, and don't try to solve their world. Just those that are open to it. But stand up. Be the mentor in your own life, and you can mentor others. Love you. Stay blessed. And Merry Christmas.
So we're going to end this one and come over to this one. Bye-bye.